Friday evening and it's time to get cooking. So what I'm going to do in this set of videos is um, I'm going to show you over the course of the weekend what I eat um, on my keto diet. So tonight we're starting with Carl's Head Pizza which is an adaptation of Fat Head Pizza from the movie Fat Head. Um, so I'll leave the link for the recipe for Carl's Head Pizza below and I'm going to get cooking. So it's 8.30 on Saturday morning and I'm going to start off with just a cup of black tea. Um, I'm not having any breakfast. I'm dressed for a workout. Give you a 360 there, sorry. <laughs> I'm dressed for a workout. Um, so we're going to go out. Um, I'm going to do the grocery shopping first and then come back and do my workout. Okay, I'm back from the supermarket, so I'm going to go through what I bought. Excuse the dishevelled look, it's really windy outside and obviously I'm going to go work out, still in the workout clothes, so I'm going to go work out. So I haven't actually um, had a shower yet today, so I'm going to show you what I bought. So the first thing that I, that I got was apple cider vinegar and I got this one because it's Irish and as you can see it's with the mother, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Got some courgettes because I'm going to do some courgette broccoli, bacon, fresh cream. And I got this roasted garlic and herb mayonnaise, which goes so nice with steak. So it was on special, so I got three. Uh, it, it's long lasting, I think it's two. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's October, or October, November this year. Um, I got grapes, but I don't eat them for my daughter. Garlic, lemons and limes for my water. I got bursan, I got two, two packs of bursan because they're okay till May. I got buffalo mozzarella. So this is uh, from a, a herd of milking buffalo that are here in West Cork. And they're the only herd in Ireland and the mozzarella is amazing. So I got mini, mini mozzarella for my daughter. She brings them for, at school with her, but I'm going to have this buffalo mozzarella today with these gorgeous Italian tomatoes. I can't wait to have it. So the meat's the most important part. So these uh, strip loin were on sale today, so I got two of them. I got minced beef and minced pork. Ooh. Because I'm going to make a spaghetti bolognese, well, crochetti bolognese. More chicken breasts. I got this really nice pork belly. It's so nice. And I got chicken legs to do us for it. So this will actually do us for the whole week. So then I got pepperoni. I got hot pepperoni. And I got peppered salami. So what I'll do is I'll use these as they are. But I'm going to actually put these in the oven and crisp them up a bit. Because they make really good crisps. Is crisps the right word? I don't know. So this is a mix of Greek olives. Kalamata olives. And I bought this extra virgin olive oil and it's from Bari, which is, I don't know if there's a, yeah, it's right down there in the, in the south of Italy. So I know this is going to be really good olive oil. One kg of natural yogurt, full fat natural yogurt. And you can see there that the fats are in red because the fats aren't good. Um, so that's from my daughter. Got six eggs from a, a local farm and actually they, they use the, the chickens on the farm are used, uh, you can see the trees there, they're actually used to keep the orchard naturally pest free, which is really nice. Bernays, because yes, steak. Two, two jars of uh, jalapenos, my daughter lives in these. And I got myself this cute little silicone egg poacher thingy, which I'm looking forward to trying because I'm terrible at making poached eggs. So that's it, that's my keto haul for this week. It's actually a really gorgeous morning. I'm going to show you the garden. Look at the sky. It's cold, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's 10 to three in the afternoon and I've done my workout. I've been shopping, you've seen the haul. I've showered, so I'm clean and I'm changed. And I'm feeling a bit hungry, 
So I'm going to have my first meal of the day. So let's check it out. So I'm ve feeling very nostalgic for Italy today. So I'm having the piccolo tomatoes, the, the little small Italian tomatoes. I'm having buffalo mozzarella. And that this is the, the herd of buffalo from West Cork. I've got the olive oil from Bari. So it's this olive oil here that comes from the right down in the south of Italy. And then, uh, and, and that's basil. And then on the side, I've got some olives from Kalamata in Greece. And I have some nice salami. It's Sunday morning, so I've decided to have a nice hearty breakfast. And the new egg poacher thingy that I bought yesterday, I'm trying it out. And my egg has been poaching for 12 minutes and it's still not done. So I don't know how good of a purchase this was. I'm glad it was only two euro. At this rate, the water is going to be completely gone before this is cooked. So Sunday evening, um, I'm not really hungry, but I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm preparing a ragu and it's going to be actually for tomorrow. So I'm preparing the mince mix. So this is a, a mix of the minced, beef, minced pork, onions and mushrooms. And I'm going to put it into my slow cooker and I'm going to cook it for about 18 hours and then we're going to have, have it for our main meal tomorrow.